Let me it says that. initialize and stream. It says initialize and stream. Dot, there's six, dot, dot, there's 16 wait, people dot. trying to get It says initialize and stream. It says initialize and stream. Dot, there's six, dot, dot, there's 16 wait, people dot. trying to get It says initialize and stream. It says initialize and stream. There's six, there's 16 wait, people. Dot. I think it's working. Hey guys, I can't hear shit. Hey, it's working. It's working. That's some crazy madness there, but I could see it playing. So they're gonna see the uh, videos and the key of D stuff and hear us. That's cool. That's badass. But it's on Foulmouth out on look. It's on our Facebook on the live stream tab. So I'm going to like this right now, and I'm gonna share this. Uh. Oh, what? You think I should call Moon Boots and have him be on the show today? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. It's always a possibility. Yeah, just let me know. I'll give him a call. And it's not that far behind either. I hear myself talking to you guys and myself. Now I'm commenting on myself, talking to you guys about myself, commenting to myself. Now I'm commenting to myself about you guys, commenting to myself, to you guys, commenting to me, about, commenting to you guys. I'm commenting about myself. It's it's fucking crazy feedback night on the Foul Mouth Al show. It's crazy feedback night on the Foul Mouth Al show. It's crazy feedback night on the. <laughs> yes. Yes. Commenting about myself. Oh my God! Now it's really feedbacking. Oh my god, now it's really feedbacking. <laughs> oh my god, it's really feedbacking. Oh my god. I almost can't hear myself. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm doing, kids. Cuz I'm I'm great with the last minute promotions that drives Mike crazy. But I'm saying here, we're live in the studio. Listen live here and listen for the call-in number. Haters welcome. We love you all. <laughs> so hopefully we'll get some haters that call us. Yes. I love haters. Hate me, baby. Hate Hater me. gators. <laughs> Hate me. Hater gators. So right now my shit is on mute because that would have been playing out of my, um, hey. back into our headphones going madness. So we don't need them. Let's hear what it sounds like. Put it on there. No, I mean the madness. Poke. Play it on that. Turn up the volume on that. It is? <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Let's hear what it sounds like. Put it on there. No, I mean the madness. Poke. Play it on that. Turn up the volume on that. It is? <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> you see that, Squig? You're a star. Just just hit mute on that thing real quick. Here, hold on. Do this. Oh, pause. Yeah, you, you can do that, too. That works, too. I turned mine off. Now. So welcome to the Foulmouth Al pre-show. We are here live with you guys. So you got something to view anyway. It looks like Devolver's playing on there now. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Remember when Devolver was here, Squig? Sure do. It was fun. What did you remember most about the Devolver uh, episode of the Foulmouth Al show uh, and the Key D video magazine? Them playing their songs, I, they sound real good to me. Did they sound real good to you, Squig? They sounded real goddamn good to me. And, 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 and what did you really like the most about how they sounded? I don't know. Sounded like, to me, like they were sweating. Sweating? And their sweat smells like potato sauce. Yes, potato manata sauce. <laughs> and they dropped me when they picked me up. Remember, broke my and neck and blacked and my eyes. So. That was terrible. And you can have it. I didn't. I couldn't. I couldn't believe how busted up you were. Yeah, man. I was in the hospital for a week. It's fucked up. That was a monstrous mess of and madness. We, and we still have that picture. We have those videos. Man, we have the reenactment. 
the graphical reenactment <laughs> where you're falling and they drop you and your neck breaks. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's funny as shit. Oh, I haven't seen that in a long time. And then we we uh you couldn't afford uh <laughs> they they rejected your insurance, so I made you a neck brace. Yep. I felt bad because it happened here in the studio. <laughs> The whole top of my head, the forehead, was black and red and blue. And purple. Purple. Black eyes. You like black eyes? <laughs> Not <laughs> really. Do you want one, one, one of black eyes? <laughs> the black eye crew. <laughs> so tonight on the show, yeah, we have uh, Chill and the Rabbits. What's the... Uh, Raise rabbits? I don't know. Eat them? I'm just wondering which one's chill. Me too. Oh, do you got notes for me? Yes. Squig is the executive producer of the Found Out Thou Show. Let's hear it, Michael. Video Mike Clarkson is the director and uh, producer here at Lane Carroll Studios. Woo -hoo! <laughs> and sitting across from me is the famous Found Out Al. Thank you, thank you. What happened? It's not working for a reason. So at the last minute, <laughs> hey, hey. we had some, oh, no. for some crazy reason, Squig didn't have no guests lined up. And uh, so I told him to call these guys, and guess what? They were available. Yes, sir. Imagine that. I sweated so, it, though. Um, I was sweating it today. I was kind of down in the dumps. They're going to come and hang out with us. Let's check out their music. How about that? Let's do this. Chill and the Rabbit. So you can look them up on Facebook. It's really easy because that's what I'm doing right now. And in like a couple of clicks, boom, bang, sh sh shnizzle. I'm on their band profile already. Boom, boom, bang, shnizzle. Did they wear rabbit costumes? Yes. I think that is the thing. You'll have to check them out <laughs> if you want to know for sure. Okay. Here's a song called Way In Over Our Necks. Let's, uh, let's listen in, kids. I like it. I feel like I'm on my way to the beach. Reminds me of Weezer. I was just getting ready to say that, I swear to God. It reminds me of Weezer. I they got their only there you go, buddy. Sound, you know? There's a lot of shit in this bag. I don't like the name. So these guys are going to be at the Free Thinkers Ball at the Sport Zone in Smyrna. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Yeah! All right, kids, give me a check. Squig, check. Check. Check one. Check, check two. Check video three. Mike. Check video three. Mike, give me a check, check please. Check three. Check three. Check. Check four. Check. Check. Video right. mics over here screaming, but uh, can you hear me? Check. Yeah, we can hear you barely. You're in the headphones. Turn that shit up. We got chilling the rabbits. Uh, turn, we're turn. trying to scream over. I'll give you a yes. pinch more. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you gave me more than me. <laughs> Sorry, All right. So we just started rolling the tape here uh, at the Foul Mouth Out Show. Chilling the rabbits are going to be coming in tonight. And um, they're going to be at the Freethinkers Ball May 29th at the Sport Zone in Smyrna with Bike Night with Chillin' the Rabbits and the Social State. Another band will be there, and they're going to be playing acoustically. So what you hear tonight and what you're hearing right now does not represent what you're going to hear. You're going to see them break down and, and get into the raw talent. Um, brought to you by Elaine Carroll Studios. And ExploreDE.com is the only place you can find a free thinker's ball unless you show up to the event at the Sport Zone on May 29th. 
chilling the rabbits. Squig, how'd you find these guys? From you. You're fantastic, Al. Chilling the rabbits. Albert threw me a bone. Check out the events page on Facebook, the Free Thinkers Ball, Chilling the Rabbits, Social State. Yeah, is it, uh, where's my notes at, Squig? I just gave them to you. I don't know what the fuck you did with I hit them to see if you were paying attention. So you I weren't did paying not. Attention. I was not paying attention. So, hip-hop, new op groovy blues, rock, in your motherfucking face. <laughs> yeah, in your motherfucking face. In your face, boy. Oh. All right. All up in that grill. So, we're broadcasting live right now from the Elaine Carroll studio here in Smyrna, sunny Smyrna, Delphia. Tonight, we're also going to have on the show, not just chilling the rabbits, but also uh, the newest members of ECL studio team. Sean, also known as Angus Grimley, will be here. Angus Grimley! Hey, Angus. Hey, hey, guys, listen, this is what I'm thinking about. Hey, listen, well, hold on a second. I have, oh, anybody got a balloon? Anybody got something I can play with in my hands, like a sack? Like your hang- Mike, let me see your hacky sack. Hey. Cut that motherfucker's mic off. Mike's doing his impression of Angus Grimley. Oh. If this, was a, if this was a video program, it would be hilarious because we all kind of... Actually, you don't need to do an impression. The kid's hilarious. When you see him, he's a great kid. He's really smart. He's and awesome. Uh, He's awesome. He's, he's awesome. awesome, Angus Grimley. And also, Muriel, also known as Munchie, our uh, journalist. and Munchie uh, on the street? Uh, hey. she's, a, she's a take charge kind of person. She's doing a great job in the studio as a, pro- as a producer. And, uh, yeah, we got some sandwiches. And God Sandwich. damn, yeah, she loves she loves to eat. Donuts? Good Lord. Them, them girls donuts. really love to eat. Their metabolism's like whack. You should see it when she's got to go to the bathroom. She like sprints down the hallway. That <laughs> Them logs are probably right huge. Pee. <laughs> it was funny because when she answered the ad, um, when, and actually, no, she was a referral from Colin. And when I called her, she's hilarious. She said, I'm Asian, and I uh, think it's hilarious because... You know, I tell everybody that I, f- I failed my first driving test. And I was like, for an e- Asian girl, that's pretty funny. You know, and, she, and then she said, no, I'm not just kidding. It's true. <laughs> so I never ride with her just for that reason. But um, Fresh. Chilling the rabbits. What is this? What's it sound like? I'd like to listen to this sometime out on a date with with Mike, getting pizzas and stuff. Damn. Holding hands? Not not on first date. Gays don't do that. It takes longer. <laughs> uh. See, you straight people always think it's all about sex. Thank God I was just testing you. How about this new song I'm thinking about writing? I'm definitely going to write it. There's no doubt. I think it's cool as shit. It's called My Balls Itch. <laughs> and it's it's a true story about yeah, the facts of Al's life. Yep. Based on a true story, folks. <laughs> Winning. My balls itch. Don't judge me. You know your balls itch is on a regular daily basis. It goes like this. My balls itch. My balls itch. <laughs> Something like that. Now I gotta scratch it. Sorry. My balls itch. Scratch My balls itch. Make sure you put scratch My balls itch. itch. Your My balls, balls itch. My scratch balls it. itch. My balls itch. My balls itch. My balls itch. I turned around and went and I shaved one day. Three days later, I was like, what the hey? My balls was itching and the shit was rough. God damn it, God damn it, can't what the get fuck? it enough. It's a scruff <laughs> Balls in my crotch like area. Balls itch. Balls itch. Might want to scare ya. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, um. I hope uh, wait, wait, wait. Dot Holla shows up tonight. Dot Holla, he may be here too. Dot Holla, that's right. In the next couple of weeks, we should have a social state. What's up with that, Squig, Mr. Executive Producer? You'll get him. You'll have them. I will. I probably will, because you as hell, sure as hell won't find them. Yes, I will. Let's do a contest right now, so you can get a hold what? of them first. No, I already talked to him last night. When? Uh, what did he say? On the phone. Uh-huh. Uh, 
he definitely want he's interested in doing the show. Is he now? He says they only you talk think to so? you. He says they only talk to you briefly. Briefly? Briefly. Briefly? Briefly. So he doesn't know anything about the show. I just fucked the fuck up. What you do? I canceled those guys' music. It was playing. Everything looking good over there. What do you think, Squig? Everything looks like it's supposed to be doing. So we're gonna meet Munchie on the street. We're gonna meet uh, Angus Grimley and uh, briefly. So he doesn't. Oh shit. Know anything about the show? I just fucked the fuck up. <laughs> what you doing? I canceled those guys' music. It was looks like I'm messing up again. <laughs> Everything looking good over there. What do you think, Squig? Everything looks like it's supposed to be doing. So we're gonna meet Munchie on the street. We're gonna meet uh, Angus Grimley, and uh, as soon as this uh, line, as soon as this so uh, thing stops, there it is. Munchie on the street. Oh my god. We're gonna meet god. Uh, Angus. Thank God it's gone. What the Thank God. What the fuck was that? Eat it. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, eat it, sir. Oh my God. Here we go with more. Showing the rabbits all the way. Yeah. Oh, cool. Wow, man. Wow, man. Wow. This shit's going crazy tonight. I am I am over my head in technology, that is for sure here. Fuck yeah. Let's see what the volume sounds like now. My balls itch, yeah. Al's just having a wonderful right. time. So anyway, it's going to be a fantastic evening. This song is called Way In Over Our Necks. I feel like getting up and dancing. How about you? I do too. Well, let's do it. Baby. Put your shirt back on, Woo! Squig. I can't help it. You dance like a white man. Yeah. Check this move out, Al. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Both. How'd you like this shit? I wonder if I can get this on my iPhone. I bet you you can. I don't know. It might not. Ooh, you got sticky shit on you. It's jizz. Ooh, you were watching porn. Yes. That's nasty. What's that noise? What? It's this. Ah. Piece of crap microphone holder. Yeah, but it's part of the show. Somebody needs to come in early and set my mic up for me because it's a mess if I don't. I was thinking you ought to get video mic route and cut, split some of them logs for you. Yeah. Put him to work. Get Colin's ass over here too. Colin couldn't even lift the ass. <laughs> that I used to bust. Here we go. Ugh. I busted wedges through the logs <coughs> with an ax, back of an ax. So I'm going to foulmouthout.com right now on my smartphone to see if this is going to work since we're 10 minutes to showtime. Yeah. 10 minutes to official showtime, folks. Thanks for tuning in early. If you're listening, that's fantastic. Give me a call. 302-514-SLUT. Uh, yeah, slut. 514 slut. That's awesome. Yes. Are we sluts? I'm not a slut. I'm not a slut. That I used to bust. I busted some wedges through the logs. It's working, kids. Yes. You can officially get found out now, uh, live on your smartphone right now, kids. Okay, I'm going to put that up. Whoops, damn, I messed up again. You know what they say, though, don't you? What's that? If you mess up, keep My balls it. itch. My balls 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 itch. We've been singing a lot lately on these pre-shows. My balls in. <coughs> oh. And now, folks, some of the chillin' rap is gonna start all over again in high volume. I'm gonna turn it the fuck down before we get it going here. Yeah, there's good sound right there. Yeah. All right, now let me put this play in the background and say goodbye. See you later. We'll see you in, a, in about ten minutes. And now I want to take this and put this in a new window. Thank you. Thank you. God and baby Jesus. Baby Jesus himself.
Lord and baby Jesus help us. Oh shit. What? Nope, I forgot we were on the air. I was daydreaming. <laughs> and I just did it again. <sighs> so where'd you go, Mike? I went upstairs for a breath of fresh air. You smoked. Yes, I did. Tobacco kills, kids. You smoked without me. A breath of fresh air. Check it out. 49ers, a breath of fresh air on YouTube. <laughs> KMAC 80. You can get that for $59.99. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> hey, guys, come on down here to Dirty Dirks and pour in with useless stuff. And you will find a rare jam every now and then, like the 49ers Breath of Fresh Air DVD pack already open and scratched. $59.99. $59.99. Hey, man, you got a car I can buy? Uh, Hot Wheel. Hot Wheel, we don't even have Hot Wheels. We have Matchbox. I'm lost. We all know that already, Squid. Ah, uh, damn. Cigarette on my mind. Cigarette on my mind. Cigarette on my mind. Okay, so all this mindless chatter that we're doing here. Pre show, it doesn't. It's pre show. Freaking, it's it's foul mouth house show madness. It's a warm up. Explore up. That's right. Something that's right. It is something to shout about. Com. That's what I need to put here. Or ExploreDE.com. That is Delaware's first guide. It's a TV channel. You check it out. Family, sports, fun, entertainment, news, nightlife, food. Check out Delaware. ExploreDE.com. Awesome. It is something to shout about. Right, Squig? Sure is. Something to shout about! God, don't shout! Did I startle you, Squig? <laughs> oh, man, my... So just chilling the rabbits that they know how to get a hold of you. So when it's time to come in, they're going to ring you or they're going to ring the bell and we're never going to hear them and they're going to stand outside all night. Or well, well, I'm getting ready to go smoke a cigarette. You are? Yes, I am, you got, sir. All right, six minutes till showtime. Well, they should be here. <sighs> and your aunt shouldn't have a mustache, but that don't mean Squeak. nothing to some people. What you want, Michael? Could I see your mustache? Yes, come here. Go smoke a cigarette, man. You know what? I ought to go smoke a cigarette. I right, will. Why don't you guys go smoke cigarettes? They <laughs> put S on it. Yeah. Shit, uh, cigarette. Cigarette days. <sighs> Skinny Dick Jones, Railroad Blues, 2012 VCS Studios, LLC, <laughs> ExploreDE.com. Dot com. Yeah. <laughs> Found that out. Dot com. Just in case you didn't know, that's what's playing right now on the Foul Mouth Out Show. We got a little Fussacini. <laughs> Fussacini. He looks like a little owl. It's funny as hell. He disappeared. So coming up in the next few weeks, who do we got coming up in the next few weeks, Squee? Well, next next week we have Via. And, uh, Via. Live from the, the ECL Studios here in sunny Smyrna, Delaware. It's going to be Via. I'm trying to sound like the corniest DJ I can. Via! Never want to be a! I'll stick with that all night. Let's find out what episode this is. Who knows? Who who, who knows what episode of the Foul Mouth Owl Show this is? 116. Squig, what's your guesstimate? Oh, this one? Uh, I'm just guessing. I really don't know. Uh, can you text uh, the kids to see where they're at? I did just now. I'm waiting back. Don't people realize we got a show to do in five minutes? I'm getting anxious and stressed over here. A man's getting bored. You can't have your fucking hose. Stress the fuck out. <laughs> Stop screaming. Kids, this will be episode 108. Damn. I was way off. I was going to say 10. 10? <laughs> <laughs> No, 110. 110. Damn, you were good. Damn, Squid, why'd you give me an attitude like that? Because you need to start. You need to start fucking listening to me. He snapped his fingers and everything. <laughs> no, you I didn't. didn't. Yes, you, yes, I did, motherfucker. Oh no, you didn't. 
See, we should have recorded that shit earlier. Oh, shit. We can also talk about that uh, episode that we put out between our last show and the show we're recording right now. You remember that, Squig? What? You don't have no clue. I didn't listen. You don't listen? I, I thought you listened to them all. You just said no, that. No, I didn't listen right now what you said. Oh. <laughs> I think our <laughs> listeners out there need to know... They need to check out Munchie on the Street on ExploreDE.com. Oh, they're gonna ch- they're gonna meet her tonight. Hopefully, if she shows up, check she's out Munchie to be here. on the Street. She'll be here sometime. She'll show up. We hope. ExploreDE.com on YouTube, and that's dot com spelled out. Explore hey, look, we're up to eighty list over. We're at over eighty people on our channel right now, checking out or checking out our pod our Foul Mouth Owl show right now. Hi, eighty people. That's our highest. That's our highest amount of motherfuckers ever. Ever in the history of ever. Thank you guys. We appreciate it. We just broke records today. Now you can please call in and uh, donate some money. Thank you. So we did an episode called Squig Calls Butt Plugs for Diarrhea. Yes. My finger smells like shit. Yes, it did. And Mike uses his finger. Because the toilet paper breaks. I hate that when that happens. Me too. I don't like washing my hands very much, so it really pisses me off. It really pisses me so off. So anyway, this episode is available on foulmouthout.com. You can go and check it out at any time. Um, Fifty nine ninety nine. It takes a little while to come up. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run through highlights of the audio of this show so that you can just get an idea. And we can discuss some of them in a little bit but um, here, here you go. Let me just pop this up here one time. Uh, they're running a little late. They'll be here. Pop, 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 pop it in. Hey, not. Right. Or not. <laughs> because it's not you, because obviously you're talking. Can you sing to it? I need my guitar. Need <laughs> what? I was going to play the guitar, and then you could sing. What do you want over there? They want to invite some fans. The woodchuck, chuck, the woodchuck, good chuck, wood. <laughs> Five times two is ten. <laughs> and then we'll say shit, Van Halen canceled. Yes, they do. And guess what? The drippage tastes good with the mixture. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You want me to fucking talk on it? Mom pulled a tongue with her teeth. She grabbed the tongue and pulled it. What we jam in your ass. That's why everybody sells out on butt plugs. Right. Headphones. Yeah. You know what? Hang up for you. I swear. <laughs> Good night. Oh. Good night, Good night sweetheart. Crotch and balls to right. you. I never knew. I never knew. I never. So I just buzzed through that last show and just hit. So if you, if you when I do that, it just seems like you can't miss but a few spots to make you say, "What the hell was that all about?" I can only. I can only. I was answering a question to you saying, Dawn, why did you do that? Because you just cut off the. Kill that motherfucker, boy. I don't know what that was about. I don't even remember. Chopping wood, that's what you're probably going to do tonight to him. (laughs) She's going to chop some wood. Hey, you know what I want to hear from tonight? Who's that? I want to hear from Rude Boy. Rudiger Boyd, if you are listening right now. Give us a call here. Al, what's that number? 302-514-SLUT. That's 302-514-SLUT. No, for real. Is that really a number? Dial it, Mike. Tell me what happens. <laughs> All right. 302-514-SLUT. If anybody's listening, give us a call. See what happens. See what you get. You might get an answer machine. <laughs> Rudiger Boyd, if, if you were here listening, call us. You might get a slut. What is the number? 302-514-SLUT. How do you spell slut? S-L-U-T. Oh, you did just say that, didn't you? Yes, I did. All See, right, hold it up. doesn't cost anything to pay attention. <laughs> that was sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't appreciate your ruse. Your cunning attempt to try and trick me. Hey, I'm getting a call from... Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. Damn, that really works. That really works. <laughs> Five one four slut. That's the old number when I was a pimp. Five one four slut. Bill Clinton used to dial that shit. Don't you know back in the days of Silky? You don't know about Silky, do you? Silky. Silky Jones. Silky. 
What's up with JQ, man? What do you want to know? JQ, they're kicking ass out there, I hear. You're managing them first fucking hand. I want to get. I want to report. Oh, yeah. JQ is out there hitting the streets. We just got done performing about two weeks ago with the Reza Palooza Festival at University of Delaware. JQ, Javon Newman, Quentin Richardson, and our lovely dancers, Krishana, Khadija, and, of course, Ashley, the choreographer. Uh, they opened up for Frankie Muniz's band, King Foil. Frankie Muniz? Frankie Muniz, Malcolm in the Middle. Oh, yeah, that kid. <laughs> Yo, he's funny as shit. And that's the guy you had the picture with on Facebook. I got on a picture Facebook. with him, yeah. He was, he was like... He was about half your size, dude. And I'm not really that big of a guy. You're not that tall, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, he's like... So there is there is a hope for short people out there. <laughs> yeah, so we performed there. It was real cool. We got to meet Frankie Muniz. And, uh, He'll probably come over and kick my ass now. Like, hey, Reese, I mean, ow! <laughs> um, they're getting ready to perform at Bubba's on the 11th. Um, we're waiting to hear back from the Essence... A Philadelphia concert series. We actually put in a petition for that. That should be real big. Have an opportunity to open up for artists like Jagged Edge. Universal Studios is going to be bringing artists, and Warner Brothers is going to be bringing ma- mainline artists. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Eight songs into their album anticipation coming out, hopefully uh, mid August. If you guys haven't heard any of the JQ music, you really need to go and tap into that. It's getting played on Kiss 101.7, Wired. Um, a dozen other uh, radio stations in the tri-state area. They're really kicking ass right now. Yeah, I see they have a big following on their uh, Facebook. I made it. Hey, Miss uh, Dawn Snow is here tonight. Dawn Snow. Nobody's I don't a, like that. Nobody's a plug. Huh? No. no what, what, what last name clap, would you like clap, to use? Clap, 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 huh? clap, clap, clap. You don't? Clap, clap. Just Dawn. Sure. Dizzy Dawn from the Christiana Care. No, I don't say that no you can't say that, Mike. Jesus Christ. Is that online? We're live. Live. Yeah, you can't say that, dude. Damn. Fire me. So. You're fired. I have to edit that shit out. But anyway, so how are you, Miss Dawn? Great. Welcome to the Foul Mouth Al Show. You have anything you want to say? Yeah. Step up. Have a seat. Come on up. Put your headphones on. Get in on a conversation. Okay. We got to talk know, a little bit here. Head. How was your day? How about that? My day was great. What happened? What happened? Nothing. That's a terrific day. Yeah, I know, right? Everybody clap. <laughs> As you can see, folks, Where's Mark? it's not a full house. We're still waiting on our guests. <laughs> there we go. They've just arrived. <laughs> Somebody's here. It's Squig coming down the steps. Where's your guest at, Squig? Late. They're going to be late for the sports zone, too. Oh, my. Flatulence. Is this how it works? Is this how it's, it's going to work? This business works. Flatulence. <laughs> Mike's got some uh, gas over there. <laughs> this shit's all fucked up. Gas hemorrhoids. <laughs> Diarrhea. There's a nurse right here. She can Diarrhea. Cha <laughs> Tux. <laughs> when you're sliding in the first and you feel something gloves? burst. No. no Diarrhea. Cha cha cha. Diarrhea. Shit is cracking up. What's yeah. going on? Easy now. Easy. What are you doing? I'm not doing nothing. Holding it. You can't move. Turn up the noise. It's not me. Yeah, it is. It's not this, though. I just turned it off, it was still doing it. If I could hear it in the headphones. Yep. It's, it's electrical interference. It's electric. <laughs> From something over there. There's just too many electrical things. I know what it is. There we go. Much better. I was stepping on something. Nah, dude, I'm not touching anything electrical. When you, I know, no, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's an electrical uh, transmitter and receiver right there. There's too many electrical things giving off signals. It's all so that's why that's I know it's not doing it. It was doing it. What, Turn it on. The volume's down right now. No, the volume's on. Damn. 
That sucks. Here, pick it up and walk over here with it, and it'll probably stop. It's this right here. It's, it's open. It's nothing plugged into it. <coughs> Hello. Damn. That blows. Walk over there. Let me try this. I wonder why. I'm gonna... Mike's breaking the equipment. I'm not doing nothing. Hello. Can you still hear it? You got nothing at all. Hold on. Turn the hell on. No, it's not on. Hi. Is it still doing it? There you go. Nope. Let's see now. Hello? 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 Right now it's good. Good. So uh, Mike's yeah. testing out Hello? the equipment over there. Hello? Hello? Ah, like oh, we're good now. We're good now, for now. Yeah. So, Dylan, what's interesting going on in your, uh, your, your phone box here? Tell us all about your um, endeavors today. Today. No. I just want to work. We still want to hear this shit. We still want to hear it. Still want to hear it. Were you wearing scrubs? Yes. Did I you have to lift any Did you meet old any people? No. No. Did I work with old people? <laughs> Did you have to lift any up? Did no. We're a non lift anybody? facility. We don't lift you. We call 911. Is there any poop? Yes. There <laughs> always is. There is. Poop involved? There always is. <laughs> always is. I cut my finger and I shit myself. <laughs> Oh, I've had it splash up at me. Uh, you? Oh, yeah. What are you going to do? Did it get in yeah. your eye? Before, uh-huh. Yeah. What, in your eye? Oh, yeah. She got eagle eye. Now, she eagle, eye got eye. Eye. eagle eye. Eagle eye. Eagle eye. That just Ooh. happened this past weekend. Boom. That one hurt. Don't you hate when you fart and it feels like your ass is ripping? <clears throat> Did I'll kiss you anywhere that the shit landed on you? Do what? Because that shit stays with you for years. What did you say? DNA. I missed it. I was did pushing Did you kiss Dawn anywhere where the shit splattered on her? Oh, yeah. I licked it off. You're nasty. <laughs> Three-way DNA. Ooh. It's, I left uh, it on just for him. Yeah. She, <laughs> she <laughs> knows, she knows what's up. Oh, he likes that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he loves that shit. Shit. <laughs> being the key word. Shit. We're into that. Um, you a job ninja. Oh, my God. What? I did not know this. What? Now I'm a boss. <laughs> you're a boss? Yeah, your seat goes up and down, too. Hey, Mike Shane, if you're listening, give us a call. 302-514-SLUD. Oh <gasps> Since you're the boss? 302-514-SLUD. Yes, Can you do I'm a wonderful cook. Hey, go fill up my water. I'm not your waitress. <laughs> I am a high-paid waitress, though. At my job. Will you make me a peanut butter jelly sandwich? Sure, I'm going to get right on that. Peanut butter jelly. All right, she administers the good stuff. I want fluff and Nutella. Did you get Nutella? Did what? Did you get Nutella? No. Oh, that's good stuff. That shit makes people gay. It's over. Nutella? Yeah. I ate a whole damn jar of it one time. That's why you're part gay. Yeah, them gay Italians. Part gay? I haven't had a Nutella. Actually, I'm part straight. Swallowed a Nutella. No doubt. Too much fun with sound effects tonight. Yeah. Let's hear one more. Dawn, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Riding a horse. <laughs> hey, play that one you Is that what you call it nowadays? Yeah. 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 Or a donkey. That's a donkey. Yeah. Let that donkey yeah. out of there. I can't hear a word you're saying, Squig. Put your mic on, buddy. Don't Let that donkey out of there. Nobody can hear you talking, Squig, unless your microphone's on. That's a good thing. Don't you know that, Squig? <laughs> <laughs> Squig hates me. He told me the other day he hates I me. I love to hate you. He loves Winning. hating me. <laughs> what are you, you're, you're, uh, he hates me 360 right days a year. You ask me one more question and I'm beating the shit out of you. Oh, shit. Good God. Squid, why you got to say such harsh <laughs> things to me? <laughs> what did I say? You say one more thing? I'm not going to say nothing now because you told me to beat the shit out of me. Funny. Man, don't make me say it again. Me love you a long time. <laughs> I want to hear the one that makes me laugh with a woman hacking. Was that the My Little Pony's theme song? Yes. I don't know what you're talking about, Squig. The woman coughing. Sounds like Why is everybody looking at me? Who's that? Great dildos. 
Dawn, you need to put your headphones on. You're missing a lot of good sound say effects. About dildos. <laughs> Great dildos. Dawn, put a headphone on. Fucking my corpse. Fucking my corpse. Yeah. Great <laughs> dildo. I can hear it out here. Holy shit. I just want to lay next to it and jerk off. I don't want to fuck it. What, a dildo? <laughs> How did you know it? Great dildo! I'm coming, Mom! That would be awesome! Why is everybody looking at me? Fucking my corpse? Ha! I'm a necrophiliac, I'd have to say that. What's that? Means I fucked the dead. He fucks out the dead. Congratulations, we have a winner. It's a vagina on a neck. Necrophiliac. It's like hemorrhoids. Well, yeah, because they would probably be necrotic. It's like thyroids. <laughs> it's got a rash on my thigh. What's that? Thyroid? That's what Squig said. Can't we? We have to give Squig his uh, credit. I don't even think it's that funny. I yeah. thought it was a little hairy ass. It's over. High yeah. on acid until the day he died. Doobly doo. Where's these kids at? Yeah, where they at? All right, chilling the rabbits. They must be real rock stars. Where are these Jones? What'd you call them? Jones. Bananas in pajamas. What is a what is that a term That's for, Squid? Anything? Uh, like a noun? Yeah, it could Person, be anything. Place, thing, like people, what? What are you saying? Food. John. Like this phone. I say, fuck this John. John. When is where are these Jones at? Now you're talking about Fuck people. This John. Yeah. John. John's. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Yo, man, my John's be itching. <laughs> I like your mic. She, she just said she likes Mike. He's I'm sniffing his microphone. I was scratching my balls. <laughs> yeah, that's right. With the microphone? Don't make me go there to make you give me a number to make you get off the stove. First, sign the waiver. first one that likes to fart gets a uh, a big heart on their forehead. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they do, and guess what? The drippage tastes good with the mixture. Now it's time for Squeak's good night song for us. Sing us a good night song, good Squeak. Night, sweetheart. Well, me? Yeah, sing it, Squeak. Go. No, she's gonna sing it. <laughs> you can tell this bitch don't have no cable. I had a <laughs> He's talking about singing live. That's all oh, he's shit. Singing. No, he didn't. That's what they talk about, man. He went there. He called her a bitch. <laughs> no, I was calling Squig a bitch. Let's hear that one more time. Yeah. He called her a bitch. My shit's smooth as hell. Hey, that shit'll cut your shit. Ron was talking in the fucking background. All right, Al. Good night, Dawn. Love you. Butt plugs are more even extra. I'll talk to you tomorrow. But we always sell out on butt plugs. And little butt, and then some, like, breeze with them uh, tampons. That'd be a butt plug. Wait, don't sneeze, it'll pop out. Big heart on their forehead. Yes. Make up my own mind. It's my show. That means, yeah. Yeah, we want to take the balls. Yeah, we don't want to exclude anybody. So, <laughs> Dawn, where are you going? There's people at the door. Oh, there is. I Thank God she, somebody's paying attention. I thought she had enough of this. Dawn Snow had had enough of this. Terrific. I was going to introduce her to this song that I thought she might really like. Mike Scary loses his microphone. He's getting ready to lose it. Here, go ahead, turn He's it. like a little fucking kid. Turn him down. Give him a little microphone back here. God, That's in case you need to say something, not so you can breathe into the motherfucker all night. Do I need to go sit You're giving me a hard on. Stop. <laughs> Turn that shit back on. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask you a question, and then I'll turn it on when I want the answer. <laughs> That's how it works. Hmm? No, it's not. Who is it? It's <laughs> Angus Grimley. Angus is here, kid. <laughs> Sean is here, Angus Grimley. How are you, buddy? Everybody's a holiday. Why don't you here with you? I'll stay with someone. Cool, very good. Very good, very good. You got, you know, three, so how was your day, man? Three with, at 16 gigabytes and current battery. That's like, I had to start deleting stuff and everything. Hey, like, Munchie. Hello. Have a seat. Okay. Got like two, I got she's quiet. System. No, you got to like, look at look over. Tell me which one's going to cut out. I got to figure out. Like a ninja. Quiet. Like a ninja. She is a ninja. Oh, oh. Right. 
All right, man, we're taping the Foul Mouth Out Show. Why don't you have a seat, man? Let's let's get to know you a little bit here. Our crew just came in. We got a we got a um, we I got an upgraded crew here recently. <laughs> and uh, we want to meet them today. Uh, newest members of the ECL Studio team, Sean, also known as Angus Grimley. <laughs> Sean, come on over, buddy. Come on over. What the hell? I didn't hear you. Don't pay attention to Mike. Just come on over. Come on over, Angus. Come on. Forget him. Forget him. Forget him. What about me? You don't me? need him. You don't need him. We're going to get to you in a minute. You're way more interesting, so I want to get his interview out of the way. It'll take two minutes. Which one am I sitting? Yeah, right. I can't even get him to sit down. Look, there's, there's two chairs. What's more interesting than that? Mike, get the fucking video camera going. This That's man. what I was trying to do. He's like, uh, he's, he's doing visual stuff here, and we can't even tell. And you can't tell. You're missing um, out. It's weird. If you've ever met, uh, have you ever seen Saturday Night Live and seen Ed Grimley? And I know you know Angus Young from ACDC. The kid looks yeah. like Angus Young. Yes. He's got his shirts untucked. He's got a tie on. I don't get the references. Oh, by fucking the way. hat. Oh, no doubt. Hear. You don't even know who ACDC <laughs> is, probably. I get that one. Okay. I can hear myself. This is exciting. Ed Grimley. <laughs> Mural I get thrilled. the I get the ACDC look. Uh, okay, so you got the ACDC look going on, and then uh, you're like, you don't know Ed Grimley, you don't know who that guy is. I, I don't know like Adam Sandler and currently, like, or like as like the best of SNL. SNL, we're talking yeah. about SNL probably when you were yeah. a sperm. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Okay, it's still the greatest show. All right. Yes, it is. It's a fantastic <laughs> show. And um, but anyway, this guy's like all nervous and all over the place, and that's very much what you remind us of. <laughs> Your uh, your the way you get up and walk around I'll your manner. Hide behind the microphone, damn it! What'd you say, Mike? <laughs> Angus Grimley is hiding behind the microphone. He is. We could see him. We're gonna get some pictures of nice, him. Maybe nice. a little video. Just because he's so <laughs> small. So we are broadcasting this <laughs> live. So oh. there's not gonna be any editing. It oh, is broadcasting oh, okay. live, and we are taping it here, and hopefully everything will work. So it looks like everything's working. There's munchie on the street. <laughs> and uh, we're also here with Muriel. Also known as Munchie, and she's the newest Yay! member doing our Munchie on the Street segment, which is a big hit, by the way. Oh, really? We had a request for Munchie today. <laughs> so our first request for our new journalist, that's pretty awesome. Is, is that D'Aven? Yes, yeah. Salon D'Aven. and cool. D'Aven, is that correct? Did yes. I say it correct? Yes, I made in sure Smyrna. to get it right. Yes, please do. <laughs> in Smyrna. Um, so that's a lot of fun. So tell us a little bit about um, this Munchie on the Street concept. How, how did that come about? How's it going? Oh, um, I think Mike and I and, and Sean kind of came up with it on the fly while being on the street one day. And we were doing a segment on a nice mural, which I kept saying mural. Um, a mural is a paint, like a big painting. And it was up in New York. <laughs> and a mural is me. And we just came up with that concept. And I'm on the street. I go to different small businesses and events around Delaware. And I talk about them and, and get hyped because they're super exciting. Apparently, Delaware is more exciting than I thought. It is. Yes. Yes, it is. It is. And it's a lot of fun. I've seen you guys in action. And the people love you when you and Sean <laughs> go in. Now, Sean, you're in there and you're directing the whole thing. He's yeah. a very good director. You're, and you're shooting all the footage <laughs> mm -hmm. for the studio and, and yep. the channel. Yep. And um, right now, you're the only guy out there besides, you know, our main director, Video Mike. Let's give Video Mike a hand. He's doing a good job directing you guys. No, this is not about Video Mike. It's about so, so, so how's this? So how's so how how is Sean out of applause here? <laughs> Look at that. Sean. So 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 how is it going out there? Tell us tell us what it's like out there in the field. I, everyone loves it. I mean, uh, guy. People come up all the time with the camera. A lot of people really shy around the camera. Well, the people that are listening to this right now don't know, you know, what I know, what you know. So let's fill them in. So you're I, you're out there and you're you're on the street. What are you doing exactly? And what are you I really really doing just look for? Like, I really just look like an asshole with a camera. Like, <laughs> okay, like I can I can vouch for that. There yes. we go. So like when people just see me, they usually stop to watch for a minute to see like what I'm doing, and then they hear her talk and kind of will go around and ask her questions and get the view of the store and all that stuff. And I'm recording that and then walking around doing the B footage and then people kinda of come up and start asking questions and then do you wanna be in it? No, 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 no. But they'll just stand there. So, <laughs> so what are you doing? You're you're doing a, a taping of 
Well, we do both. We'll do the news segment and then what news segment? Tell the listeners do not. Uh, know oh, what we just did about. one on summer blockbusters. Oh, you want to read it off? About, no, I'm not gonna read it off. But we did. We go into oh, we go into small businesses and we do news segments um, about local events going on in Delaware. And also, since we're using the venue of the business, we do a little bit about the store wherever we're at. Today was a blasty blast for me because I think all complete girl day. <laughs> it was a complete girl day because we went to a Mori Bridal Boutique, and so I did the news segment. And you guys I love this. I did the new segment in like a wedding gown. It's so oh, very cool. It's and very I was cool. like giddy out of my mind. I'm like, yay! And then he's like, oh my god. <laughs> and then the next one was Bell Boutique, which was um like a girl, like a ladies' clothing store for ladies who want. So how'd you like that, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to follow her in the dressing room, but she slammed the door in my face. <laughs> you, needed to, you, you needed to get Muriel. You needed to get Sean in a wedding dress. <laughs> oh, I was I, I tried to come into the dressing room, but the door got shut real like, quick. No in my voice face. allowed. That's right. That's yeah. right. Good girl. Like, I'm not a boy, I'm a girl. man. Grown ass man. <laughs> and then the last one was a five foot six. Bar, What's up, motherfucker? Where they did a they have like homemade like natural artisan handcrafted soaps. Say with, it again. What's with, it called? Uh, Suds Bar. The Suds Bar, and this is and, downtown Dover. Yeah, in uh in Lock. In. Okay, now you guys are doing this, and this is going to be aired on ExploreDE.com. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so and you can look out for yeah. the Munchie on the Street segments with these places, and they're going to be awesome. And there, I learned there's this thing called Kukui oil and jojoba oil. Oh, I made sure to pronounce those right. Stuff? <laughs> I, I always thought it was jojoba, and I was like, oh, no. She's like, and then this lady was like, uh-uh, it's a jojoba. What's and it good like, for? <laughs> it's good for, for dry skin and for nat- their natural moisturizer. It's the fact that it's not... The lady actually knew that she, like, on the wall had, like, the Tyler Durden Fight Club quote all about, like, how to make... Uh, oh, a bomb. Really? I yeah. didn't know that. How to make a bomb out of soap. <laughs> and uh, But she explained to me that they don't use any animal fat there. It's all vegetable oil and all, like, it's all Natural fast. Natural stuff. Yeah. So, so it's explosive soup? No, well, <laughs> nah, but you gotta use, like, real fats to do that. Like, but, yeah, you could make a bomb. She explained, like, the difference between soap and Fight Club to me, basically. But, uh... I got some yeah. chocolate soap. I got soap that smells like chocolate. <laughs> you would love it. It's amazing. It smells like hot cocoa, and I just wanted to, like, wash myself. And... <laughs> <laughs> You know, get clean while I'm getting dirty. So what do you guys got coming up that you guys are hitting out there on the street? Uh, we did Iron Man 3 review in IMAX. Yeah! Oh, we saw exciting. Iron Man. Iron Man 3? It was yeah. the very first IMAX experience. It and was? Tell us about, so you've seen the movie already? Yes. Yes. All right, tell us, to give us a review here today on no. the Foul Mouth Out Show. It's really, really good. But, I mean, that's hard because it's the third movie in a trilogy, and I don't like to spoil movies. Uh, but Can you give a quick report without spoiling it? Yeah. Someone the dies. Ha <laughs> ha. That's not true. Either. Well, it's true. Someone dies. Kind of. All right, pretend you're on the scene <laughs> right now. Munchie on the street. <laughs> hey, guys, this is Munchie on the street with ExploreDE.com, and right now I'm in front of the IMAX theater. It's my first time here. Oh, my gosh, it's super exciting. We're going to watch Iron Man 3, which is obviously the third part of the Iron Man trilogy. Hopefully there will be more coming up soon. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> so let's go check it out. <laughs> Very good. Look at that. Look at that. Very good. Off the top of her head. That girl's a genius. All right. People just that- like Squig. Squig, what's up with you over there, buddy? I just, I just whacked you with a pen, didn't I? At full He's throttle. He's crying. I was trying to um, stick it in your eye. <laughs> For it wasn't. So, that's too loud. That probably is. I think we can talk quietly now. Comic book fans deeper. are going to be frustrated. Everyday fans will really like it, but they did a real unique interpretation of a really classic comic book character. So vague. <laughs> That's because I don't want to give it away. And somebody dies. And somebody dies. And Lots somebody of dies die. at the end. But somebody I, dies. Uh, <laughs> definitely have to see it in 3D and in IMAX because there's a lot of CGI. What are some of the new movies coming out that we want to see? Star Trek Into Darkness. Yes. <laughs> Oh, you know what I'm looking forward to? Because I'm a huge like horror movie buff. I'm looking forward Carrie. to the Carrie remake. Yes. So yes. you guys are you guys are out. You're out on the street. Mm-hmm. You're talking about new businesses and things that are going on out yes. there. You're going to be doing movie reviews. What else do you got coming up? Uh, we're actually going to start that podcast. Uh, Muriel Munchie's going to mediate um, <laughs> every week. Uh, we're going to have three people on arguing a different director. Um, I think episode one's going to start with David Fincher. We're talking about movie, more movie, movie stuff? Movie stuff, yeah. Okay. It's just like all focused on um, different directors and kind of like for film students and everything like that, okay. uh, breaking down the films, um, <laughs> techniques that they use okay. that are their staple and kind of thing. Disagreements on which are the best movies. Like, okay. I know, I think Seven is David Fincher's best film. Mike might disagree here. Who, who's um, going to be on the show with you? I'm, 
uh, video Mike Clarkson, Munchie. We're going to have Al on the show. Um, we're going to have my buddy Pete. We're going to have a bunch of people. Every week, it's going to be me, you, and a third person. With <laughs> Munch mediating. I wonder why I get the memo on this. <laughs> like four days ago, we had a whole conversation on it, Dick. You guys are going to have some of the local celebrities on the show to give it their, the their opinions Yay. and stuff like that. Awesome. Film festival winners and stuff like some that. Of the oh, wait, did we talk, mention the film fest? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. so, oh, my God, yeah. There's, um, so I have a recent college graduate, and we'll talk about the internship yes. soon because I'm going to be running the internship program. And our studio is very proud of you guys. <laughs> These guys are award-winning um, producers here in, in Elaine Carroll Studios. Tell us about that, Munchie. Yeah, so uh, one of my favorite clubs that I was in when I was in college was called Real Productions Film Society. We would make short films together. And one of my short films won Best Drama. It's called Start Over. And Very good. She won Best Drama. <laughs> Number one. And then Video Mike Clarkson, I don't know if he wants to talk about his video. No, I'll talk about his behalf. Video Mike Clarkson, he won um, Best Music Video for... Best Music Video! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. yeah, it was awesome. And I, don't, I, I haven't gotten our certificates yet, but we got certificates, a gift card, and like Adult Swim swag. That's very <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Let's give him a round of applause. So, so you guys got to uh, submit, you each submitted um, a work... Yeah. And you both won. Yeah. The category that you're in. Yeah. What does that say about this studio, Squig? <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of talent in this studio. It, we do. And that Al needs to buy us more sandwiches and donuts because sandwiches we're and so donuts. awesome. You need to feed all this creativity. Memory cards something. and batteries. We were, talk, <laughs> we, were talking about your, we were talking about Munchie's eating habits. Oh when my she's gosh. here, she don't stop eating. <laughs> Keep eating. And then, like, every 20 minutes, she's running down the hallway to the bathroom. <laughs> she eats so and much. Not. Look how skinny she is. Oh, oh, go call you bulimic. <laughs> <laughs> Are you making a bowel movement? Or are you throwing up? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just checking myself in the mirror to make sure I'm not getting too. Is bad. that what it is? Okay, yeah. all right, I'll accept that. <laughs> we'll leave that one. Um, something I'm excited for that's coming up um, is that uh, I'm going to be in charge of the internship program. Yeah. Internship. Program. Oh, we just yes. got another new intern while we were oh, out yes, today too. Yes, Graduated yes. from Wesley. Oh, tomorrow, mm -hmm. he wants to come by and see the studio. So the like uh, Lane Carroll Studios is putting in place an internship program, and Munchie yes. is in charge of that. Tell us about that. What are we looking for? What do we need? We need people who are creative, first and foremost, people with ambition, who want to um, make their lives better, people who are into uh, video production, movies, uh marketing, sales, advertising, promotional work, uh, passionate about events, doing things, anything around Delaware, we'll take you. <laughs> well, come Probably. on down. Come on down. So what are the rules? From what I know, it's uh, First you there's have no to. pay, and they're going to treat you real mean, <laughs> and you got to like it for several years. <laughs> Put your vision on hold and, yeah. and pick up their vision. No, I'm just That's kidding. Right. It's been awesome. Make them crawl everywhere. So you guys are basically issues. going through that right now pretty much at this point. Is that is that correct? Yeah. Yes, I, I, I think I'm on the ground floor right here. I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I mean, you guys aren't making a whole lot of money at this point, have you? No, no, no. I'm not making any money. So, so that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Speaking of that, didn't you, did you just sign a deal? And I, think I, Mike, might, I think I might have a paycheck coming. Me and Mike are, I think I got a paycheck me and coming. Mike are, uh, <laughs> me and Mike are training you guys. Well, yeah, someone needs to tell me about that. All right, what, go ahead. The DA Vaughn program? Yeah. Yes. Um, let's see. We, we are working on something. We can't mm -hmm. talk about it at this time because we don't have anything <laughs> in writing okay. with them. But we are making a deal with this fabulous salon. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the salon, Munch. Oh my gosh, there. the salon was amazing. And it we just like, put that out. The studio just put out the Munchie, first Munchie on the street. Yeah. It's the uh, Salon de Avon mm -hmm, video. Mm -hmm. I'll be straight up like, like fair. walking in, like or no, like from the outside, it's like part of a shopping center. It looks it looks kind of boring to be honest, but the moment I went in, it was fancy. It was like black and red and gray and modern and sleek, and everyone was happy and fabulous. They serve and liquor. They do serve liquor. They give you champagne. They treat you like family. And then um, their bathroom. Oh my like gosh. Liquor. Their bathroom was gorgeous. They had <laughs> lotion and body spray and like mirrors and they had like a Chippendale stripper in there. Now do they do nails? <laughs> <laughs> you got yeah, Dawn's attention. <laughs> Somebody woke Dawn up with Chip and Dale stripper. Dawn's like, I'm in. Is it Daven Salon? Is it just a picture? Do you get a happy ending at the end? <laughs> oh, I'll win. That was not the place we were at today. They, they got a parlor in the basement. There's a Are we there. supposed to be advertising that? Or? The place we are at today has a parlor in their basement where they get but massages. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
fuck no. But they didn't say anything about that, but it was, I mean, it was it was, I couldn't ask that in front of her. <laughs> uh, it seemed awkward, so. But she winked at me, and I was like, so do you do anything extra? And she's like, wink, wink. No, no, no. And she was like, <laughs> <laughs> and she winked, no, she winked at Sean, and she's like, she licked her lips, she's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> So Angus Grimley's out there always. Hey, look, yeah. killing the, it. The studio doesn't Killing care what you guys do out there on the street just to bring in some business. Okay? That's right. That's We've been rocking it. We've been rocking it. You have been, and there's a lot of stuff going on. You've been up to the Cafe Ole uh-huh. up Cafe. in Newark. Oh, my gosh, that. yes. I got to get free food. It was awesome. We weren't even asking for it. He was just like, he offered us food, and we did, like, a little news segment right there. I felt like I was on the Travel Channel. I love the Travel Channel and, like, eating food, obviously, hence Munchie. And we got to eat this thing. Or, okay. So it was like shrimp and garlic, and th- and it came out in this like boiling thing of oil. Like the oil was still boiling. So it was scary, but it was really exciting because like the, my food is moving. What what's it gonna wow. taste like? It's gonna be awesome. And then he also gave us these so, um like so like, like <laughs> no, it's real. I'm like, I'm like wow. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about Al, <laughs> not you. Her food is moving. Yeah. <laughs> I was thoroughly unimpressed by that. <laughs> Stuff and it was it was a right old time. I hope we get more free food. I got 20% off at Frolic because I mentioned ECL yeah. and I did a new segment for offered to do. I just offered to do a new segment. They gave me 20% off. And they now were happy. He looks they, so swag. They were happy. They mark it up 150%. <laughs> Well, so it's Squig, it, what's going on over there? I haven't heard from you. I know, I'm trying to see where this band's at. What's the matter with the band? I don't know. Chilling the rabbits. Chilling They're fucking the rabbits, rabbits dude. They're, they should be fast. The, tell them the turtle's here. <laughs> turtle uh, beat you. Yeah, the turtle is already stash here. Stash pocket. The hair is, has got you. Stash pocket. Stash pocket in my hat. It, well, it ain't no good no more, because now the what, cops what are What are you guys, listening. a cop? Yeah. <laughs> no, the cops are listening. There's thousands of... of going by police. Angus Grimley. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Once they, and dude, go, yeah. if they saw you on at, the street, they address. would they would know who you are. <laughs> they would know who you are. That's for sure. <laughs> it's your IP address. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to uh, play this uh, song. We're gonna do a make it or break it here for MC Gusto. What's a make uh, it or break it? This is we're gonna uh, we're gonna play this song and go around the table, and you guys can tell me if you like this song. Okay. If you want to make it or break it, like funny or die. No, it's it's MC Gusto. Check no. it out. Love it or show well, that escalated quickly. Like, I was asking, break like, it or you die. No, like well, you've done this in a while. Okay, first of all, how how old are you? Have you guys seen Funny or Die? The website. You guys no. know how it works. No, tell us about it. It's you put quickly. a clip on there, and they literally you vote Funny or Die, and after a hundred like votes, <laughs> if it doesn't get like you're not in the majority, it gets cut from the website. But like as you escalate, like it gets pushed to the top and the top and the top. So like. That's why I was saying it's the same exact. Oh, it's very concept. cool. Yep. It's the same concept. We're gonna except these guys will never go anywhere because they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're on the foul mouth out show and nobody ever listens to us. So let me um, go ahead and yeah. play this. Ready? It's called "Drunk Girls" by MC Gusto. <laughs> Ride. Pull up to the spot with pretty girls outside. It's only one thing. 
before I get a picture. Fumble with your camera, snap a couple drunk pictures. I ain't gotta try hard to get with you. Damn, I love my drunk girls. Gus don't break down. Man, a girl named Tina, she was sipping margaritas. Had a booty like Serena, you know. Gus don't have to meet her. Plus, she was older than the freezer. I don't think she can get much meaner. I wanna build something, so I got a gem beamer. She got some nerve. Hit her with a 40 and a steel reserve. <laughs> now she's starting to swerve. Got my beer goggles on and I'm viewing her curves. Just shake it to the stone. Hit the streets, but stay shady. Wait. All right, MC Gusto. Yeah. MC Gusto. That motherfucker's as big as Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding you. He is. <laughs> All right, so going around the table, Miss Dawn, you heard the song. What do you think? MC Gusto, Drunk Girls. Whether I like it or not? Do you like Make it or break it? What do you think? I think I'll make it. She's going to make it. <laughs> she wants a Angus, copy of it. Angus, tell us, tell I us, like Angus. I, I think uh, they will make it. <laughs> it's good, man. Munchie, what, do you, what do you say? People are drunk, they'll dance to anything with a yeah. bass beat like yeah, that. Yeah, that's my thing. Like, it it's has, a dubstep reason. It's a party song. They're talking about it's a drunk party girls. Song. That's what I'm it's saying. Country. It's country. Makes girls. you think of Main Street, yeah. <laughs> so it's a make it? Yeah, I'll make it. Munchie's I'll making it. Video Mike? It don't matter. Four out of six. It's a make <laughs> it. I like it. I like it. He's got a mic. You need a music video, hit us up. 302 533 909. Video Mike. Your next music video. Here, ECL Studios, one man crew. <laughs> that was fantastic. Squig thinks it's fantastic. The production, I, the production level's so high. <laughs> it was pretty good. <laughs> now, I, like, <laughs> I like when the girls started singing it, like, oh, dropped funny. down. That was tough. I wasn't talking about the song. I was talking about Mike yelling so into the fantastic. microphone. The girls singing, she was so, like, I, I kind of wanted to be that girl. Like, she was so unenthusiastic. She was like, yeah. I she was to drunk. Get that the so oh, some yeah. of the song. I like the song. I know we've already done it. I like the song. I was making fun of Mike. Boys and where was I? I bet they wanted to be my cop. Tell the bartender what's up. Archie. Come here, Archie. Hello, Archie. <laughs> That's a drunk Edith Bunker. Hey, Archie. You did. I got that, that reference. Just wanted to say I got Because in Nick and Knight, I got that reference. Oh, we did. <laughs> Did you think she gives him a head? <laughs> she Remember does. he was taking them pills? I bet she you does. she was. Hey, Edith. <laughs> Come here, Edith. Oh, jeez. Archie, you so bunker. <laughs> Shut up, oh, Edith. <laughs> get on your knees, Edith. I've had enough of your shit today. <laughs> oh, get out of here, meathead. What's meathead doing? Oh, he's trying to poke Edith. <laughs> That's oh. what I named my cock there, Edith. <laughs> <laughs> Down at Kelsey's, we got the. <laughs> is that what the bar is called? Kelsey's. You yeah. know, Squig don't got cable. I watch. He knows the fucking name of the bar on Archie Bunker. <laughs> you know how I know that? Because I don't got cable. I yeah, I was gonna. Remember. I was gonna say that's how I know that shit too. What? We watched um, All in the Family. The when was this? It doesn't matter. The fact is... Next time, call me to come watch it. Edith! <laughs> Edith, come in! <laughs> anyway. All right, so let's listen to highlights from last week's show. I can leave a message for them. <laughs> no, I do not need a secretary or a fucking message. I'm trying to speak to Albert Lescobar or Squig or a video of my clerk. Squig, I heard his answer. Right now, he is busy. If I could take a message, I can have him call you back as soon as possible. Alright. <laughs> is, is a hand holding his number? Hi. It's not. Right. Or it, because it's not you, because obviously you're talking. So this was a madness call here. You were just calling to... Vent. I live alone. I can't yell at my dog all the fucking time. Aren't you glad that me and Dawn answered the phone? Yes. 
I look at Cooper and say, Have a bad day, motherfucker. You want to hear about it? No wonder that dog's so mean. Yeah. Yeah. I keep him in a cage when if I talk you, to him. Dude, if you ever have a real problem and you need stitches, you can call Dawn. You you needed stitches on Yes, those. I did. He bit the fuck out of you. Yeah. Mm. His we're dog. Gonna, we're going to definitely have to get some. Uh, a Butterflies? Suture kit, a suture kit. You don't have one of them handy? I don't necessarily stitch people. Hmm. Um, at, we're at home. <laughs> Could you? S- yeah, but you, you, I mean, you got yes, all I kinds could. of shit over there that you don't necessarily need a home. You got an x ray machine. She's got an old x ray machine they were trying to get rid of. She got, she took that home. Yeah, hey, take an x ray of my skull. Shh. We're not allowed to do that for uh, under $100. That's fine. That's fine. I'll bill your insurance. Okay. And, here, and we don't have that insurance. Doesn't Foulmouth Owl Show have insurance? You know what the Foulmouth Owl Show needs? What's that? Some luck. Some love? What can we do? Luck. We need luck. some fucking luck. Hmm. We'll go out back and start picking lucky four-leaf clovers. Four leaf clovers. Fuck yeah, man. Let's go. You know, I knew I knew a Mexican, and he could find four-leaf clovers all day long. It was amazing. I have never been able to find one yeah, in my life. Why couldn't it just be a dude? Why did you have to say what Mexican? Say? That's fucked up. You've never found one? He was a Mexican dude. Never, ever, I've never ever. found one in my life, and I've looked enough. I've looked like crazy. Have you ever found them, Dawn? Dawn could probably go out and pick up a, a fucking dozen of them right now. She's probably like that Mexican. I'm lucky. Next time you go out and smoke a cigarette, let's see if we can get one. It's raining out. Oh, shit. It makes, that's the best time that's to find them. That's the best time because they're shiny. No, the best time to find them is definitely first thing in the morning. Can, but not on a rainy day. Can you hire a leprechaun to help you find one? Yes. Yes, you have to look under Fuck the yeah. toadstools and turn the frogs into leprechauns. You got a ho- hollow tree out there? Frogs or leprechauns? You got a hollow yes. tree out there? But you got to lick their butt. That's no problem. For how many wishes? <laughs> Alla wishes. Ooh, that's all the wishes. <laughs> all the wishes. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a show down here, video Mike. You can. <laughs> Must be nice. Mike's on break. Go ahead, Mike. See you later. We buddy. took his his uh, mic from him. So He's he busy. Yeah, we turned his mic off. He got Mike he got upset. And his name video Mike. I see audio only. He lost his mic. All right, kids. See you guys later. Munchie on the street and Angus Grimley out of here. Thanks for stopping in. Huh? They're leaving. I don't know what the hell they're doing. They probably are. I don't know. They can't be leaving because we got to get pictures before they leave. So they're probably just going to go smoke tobacco out on the range out back. The I think Mike's range. the only one that smokes. No, um, Sean smokes. So, um, MJ Stone in Dover. They're giving away fifty dollars in free gas cards. So are you looking for a deal on a great used car? Stop by MJ Stone in Dover. They're offering a great deal on some very nice used cars at great prices. You need a new car, don't you? A, a nice I car. I need a new car, too. Do you need a new car, Dawn? Check out MJ I Stone. About this. I'm telling you. Well, if I get a new car, I'll be going back to BCP. And you'll have deja vu because they're going to give you a free $50 gas card if you go in there and buy a new car. I guarantee you that. Sissy, what? What'd you do? You lost your cigarettes? No. Cigarettes are bad. That's good. I hate smokers. Al. All you got to do is mention the code explore DE Baggots. and they ask. They're worthless. I'm sorry, Al. Munch got me quitting cigarettes. Oh, yeah. Ask about the uh, <laughs> $50 gas card promotion uh, and mention code explore DE.com. And uh, they're giving away gas cards, folks. www.mjstoneautosales.com. Sounds like somebody's being murdered upstairs. What the hell's going on at the studio? That's I don't mad. know. Will they get you high there, too? I don't know. <laughs> well, I just Stone. Stone. MJ. MJ Stone. Stone. MJ. MJ. Who so knows? throwing stones at you. It could be, yeah. yeah. They live in a glass house. It could be. Fuck yeah. BCP and Smyrna, just go in there. All you got to do is go in there and tell them that you want $300 off any car, courtesy of ExploreDE.com and the FMA show. BCP and Smyrna is your Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram discount center. That's where you got your vehicle, isn't Damn it? Damn right. I'm going to go up there tomorrow and mention it and get 300 bucks off and give him my autograph. 300 bucks, your car, and you're probably going to get a brand new walk out of there with a new vehicle. What's your signature? Aren't you? You should get a Jeep. Aren't you? He'll sell me another You should car. get a Jeep. You should get a brand new Jeep. Tell him, Don. He I would know, look I good like in a Jeep, wouldn't he? I like Jeep. I like Jeeps. Take the top down. They're loud. Are they outside? Yes. No, who knows where the hell they are. Tony's Pizza Tony's. over. Dot com. Tony's Pizza of Dover. Mm, com. I've eaten there a lot. Have you? Yes. It's the yes, best I Italian have. food around. The best Italian 
food around. Italiano. Go see Tony. He's always there. It's in front of Dover Downs by Staples. Yeah. Uh, Tony's Pizza. TJ Maxx. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And uh, don't forget, ExploreDE.com. It is... Out of this world. Something to shout about! Fuck, Al! Why what? do you keep scaring me? <laughs> That's the that's their campaign. That's you, their slogan, man. You always catch me when I'm staring Ex- at my phone. ExploreDE.com. Something to shout about! Yeah! What the fork was that? Ruining the Dawn's show. Dawn's getting phone calls. Who's calling? I'm a pimp. <laughs> yeah. Dial 514 slut, Dawn. Call him up. Yep. Why am I going to call myself? Because we need sluts. <laughs> call 514 slut. Yeah. Can you get... I, I want to... I am not. Dial it. Dial it's it. It's going to bring to your phone and you're right next to it. Yeah, because yeah, that's he's your slut. Yeah, you know. Right? Albert's the slut. <laughs> he is definitely the slut. Not yep. me. Licks, I am a... Licks that crap off your face. Not me. I'm a good, honest guy. I don't slut around. Honest Al. That just happens to go together, right? But that don't mean you can't be a slut. Yeah. But that's why I'm foul mouth Al. Because I don't like honest Al. You want to be slutty, Al? It's the same thing, actually. Yeah, but you're trying to uh, make it seem like a personality. I'm normal. I'm trying to be cool. Yeah, I'm trying to be cool. I talk dirty. <laughs> I got the foulest mouth around. I got the foulest mouth around. <laughs> right? How about this guy? Fa ma Hey, y'all, what's up? This is Bucktooth Jack. Check out the Foul Mouth Al show, or the next time I see you, you will get a mouth full and a nose full of hair, boys. <laughs> It was good. Hey, y'all, this is Bucktooth Jack. Check it out. One day I sent my old lady out to get me some burr. While walking out, she turned and asked me, she said, what kind of burr you want? I said, found my vowel burr. That bitch bought me some old Milwaukee lights, smart ass. Anyway, turn into the found my vowel show. Fantastic. I ain't heard. What's he up to? Uh, uh, those <laughs> thing sounds are long gone. Uh, uh, electric rate. The Foul Mouth Thou Show is produced by Elaine Carroll Studios. I don't even know what the hell's in here. Welcome We're just to playing. the Foul Mouth Thou Show's 100th episode. Oh, that's an intro for our old episode. That was it. 100th. That was special. I like dudes with 70s bush. Um, um, th- th- just, um, uh, that, that, that sounds, um, 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 okay. All right, got it. Electric rate? Electric, electric rate? Electric shave. <laughs> That's you an old one? director that came in for a little while. Yeah, a little while. And he got a boner when he saw the Yo, microphone. Yo, man, can I try it? And Do you get to try it? On the mic. I get all. If I don't like it, can I bring it back? It was good. Michelle Wallace likes 70s. It's all fake, dude. It's all bra. And she really does. Well, fuck really? me. Mm-hmm. They got these TVs where you're taking pee pee's. Hey, y'all, this is Buck Dude Jack. And I love beer and football, baby. You know where I'll be this weekend at the Sports Zone, Smyrna, Delaware. Who needs cheerleaders when you got waitresses like Samantha, Nellie, and Jordan? The Sports Zone in Smyrna is where Bucktooth Jack works. So my wife thinks Sports Zone is a great place for half-off appetizers and $1.50 drafts at the Sports Zone, Smyrna, Delaware. Hello, everybody. This is Squiggity Squid from the Foul Mouth Owl Show. Sick. I've been told from friends of mine that I don't actually know Chinese. I do. I've studied on it. I've watched a lot of kung fu movies. I've learned a lot about it. And here I go speaking in Chinese to prove it. Hey, you all motherfuckers! Join the mouse and Googers at Mojo okay, Main! No. The moms are hot! Like what you bitches like! FoulMouthOwl.com You leave now! Pay and leave now! Oh, That's my Chinese. That's fucked up. Hey, this is Wolfman Jack. While you're busy sitting at home creeping on Facebook, pull up the Foul Mouth Owl link and tune to his show and you would be glad you did. This is Michelle Wallace with the Foul Mouth... Blah, blah. 
This is Michelle Wallace with the Foul Mouth Owl Public Service Advisory. Number one, keep your head up. Number two, always look them in the eye. And number three, don't forget to nod and say, you can tell five people about foulmouthout.com by Friday, right? Uh, uh, those brain cells are long gone. I just want to be enthusiastic, you know? <laughs> Garfield, he's Garfield. Yeah. Uh, Where's the lasagna? Uh, electric rate. So, Miss Dawn, how are you today? I'm great. <clears throat> she gave me stitches. She sewed my dick hole. Dawn sent. <laughs> I hate it when she does that. I'm gonna pop. You're gonna have to eventually. Yeah, it, it's turned into. I better get the suture. Nasty okay. diarrhea. My fingernails are turning green. Dawn. Sutures are done. Why'd you do that? Yeah. So Dawn has texted me some interesting ideas throughout the day. Like what? Like what? Why did um, I text you? You wanted to do something with, on a website or something. Oh, I was just bored. What the hell were you signing me up for last night? Jesus by the way, Jesus Christ! Porn. Do you not want I to discuss that? I was signing him up for porn. Damn right. I was signing him up for porn. That's what Tell I him what you were signing us up for. <laughs> what you were signing us Come up on. for? Um, so fat, fatlife.com. Fat life. Fat F E T. Fetish. Life.com. Did you find any fetishes that you want to try on? It's Albert's a place house? where you meet other people and you and you have swinger sex. Whoa, Nelly. Dawn's ready to rock and roll. What? <laughs> That's fucked up. What? Yeah. What's the problem, Squig? There's none. You gonna sign up, Squig? Nah, I'm trying to quit. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's got a fetish. Dawn, what is that place? What was it? What is it really for? Is that what it is? Yeah. It is where you meet. She other thinks about talk. it. It's just to talk to people that have the same interests, you know. So you just talk to them. How you doing? Thinking that you can. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I'm tied up right now. How, <laughs> How you doing? doing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm stiffing people's butts right now. How you doing? I'm six inches in an ass. And then you had an idea to do something else on another website today. What was that to all about? To record porn. To record porn. You want to make porn yourself. Sure. And put it on a website somewhere. Or yeah. on Facebook. And yeah. every day have it taken taken down and get reported and all that. If and, you don't like and, it, share it. And live it. Or anything. Yeah, live. And you're good. Live like a rebel. You're good. So when they say don't like it, don't like it because it'll go away. That's right. Don't like it. Don't like it. Fuck that. I don't like it. Because they're going to take it down. Who's yep. this? Enter your business to win a free commercial or a free news segment promotion on ExploreDE.com. Something to shout about! That shit again. <laughs> what do you think of that, Dawn? I think it's something to shout about. It is. What else do we got to shout about, Squig? <laughs> Not a goddamn fucking thing. Well, here's what's going to happen. It looks like we're uh, going to take a quick break. And uh, come back next week with the Fountain House. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and Dawn need to smoke a cigarette. It'll be quick for you guys because you, you can listen to, do to this. Porn too, Al. Huh? Don't act like you didn't want to do the porn, too. Oh, I want to do porn, sure. Don't act like you weren't okay with Fat Life, too. Fat Life? Don't you sit over there and mock me. I am not <laughs> mocking anybody. I'm just saying. Whatever you want to do in your free time is up to you, Miss Dawn. Live life. Live well. Get some pussy. Or go to hell. Yeah. <laughs> You're always sending me messages saying you want to suck my dick. What the fuck hell. is that about? Squig is. Yeah, what's up with that? What I thought you were about the happy that? ending thing. Huh? Oh, the dudes are here. Oh, the band's here? Yeah. When they come down, we'll act like the show's over. And that's the end of the foul mouth. And so they sit down. As soon as they sit down, we'll introduce them and say, well, thanks for, for coming to the Foul Mouth Owl Show. We'll see you guys again next time. Well, you're going to have to take a break because I need to smoke a goddamn cigarette. We're just going to fuck with them. No. I have. Yes. Take a break. Goddamn break. I'm going to have to take a break or I'm going to have some kind of conniptions. People right, do well, breaks. But let's do this first. Do what? Fake them out. Act like the show's over. Oh, yeah. We're going to take and a then, quick break. Yeah. And no. then we'll take a quick break. Yeah. Or I'll just get up and leave. You know? No. Yes. Well, bring them down. They're right on time. They're right on time. Yeah. They're right on time. What's happening? What's up, everybody? What's, What's up? up? Are you guys it? Yeah. Nope. Okay. Awesome. Have a seat. <laughs> Have a seat. You guys are with Chilling the Rabbits. Who do we got here today? 
We got. Uh, I'm Tim Stetka. I'm, I'm the drummer. Frankie. Frankie Schlein. Frankie Schlein and Tim Stetka. Yep. From Chillin' the Roberts just came in. You guys are right on time. See, so you brought some guitars today. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, welcome to the Foul Mouth Al Show. Yeah, this is You're awesome. right on time. Video Mike, he's got his camera rolling. Ready to go? We always roll the camera. Always. Are you guys ready? Yeah, we're yeah. ready. Yeah. All right, fantastic. Ah. So we'll see you guys next time on the Foul Mouth Al Show. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oops, I forgot the music. Okay. Uh, the song's called Jeff's Song, mm -hmm. and this, this is three years old. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Right. Awesome. Mm -hmm. This is Alaska Golden. While you're busy sitting at home creeping on Facebook, pull up to the Foul Mouth Al Show link and tune into the show. You'll be glad you did. This is Michelle Wallace with a Foul Mouth. Blah, blah. This is Michelle Wallace with a Foul Mouth Al Public Service Advisory. Number one, keep your head up. Number two, always look them in the eye. And number three, don't forget to nod and say, you can tell five people about foulmouthout.com by Friday, right? <laughs>